With reports of incessant cases of molestation and sexual abuse gripping the country, a coalition of groups in Jos, North Central Nigeria, comprising women lawyers, journalists and other concerned bodies embarked on a rally against rape. Carrying various placards depicting the mood of the moment, the protesters go through major streets of Jos Metropolis, sharing handbills to pass the message about the rising scourge. The rally terminated at the Plateau State House of Assembly as they seek the adoption and domestication of relevant laws to check sexual abuse. We can fight this cause through the legislature. That is why we are here at the State House of Assembly. We are calling for the adoption and domestication of the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act, which is a law that not only substantive in nature, but carries punitive punishment against the perpetrators. Responding to the demands of the group, the Plateau State legislators assure the protesters of a push for effective laws. We will make sure that the implementations of this law come to full-fledged experiences by all and sundry, so that we can at least have some rest. No case of rape should stop at family level. From the north to the southeast, Imo states to be precise, here, the State House of Assembly says it has moved a motion urging the state government to take decisive action by partnering with the judiciary, traditional rulers and security agencies on stiffer penalties for offenders. Now to Ogun State, Southwest Nigeria, where the National Association of Nigerian Students is lending its voice against rape. Enlisting the support of human rights group the Student Association is calling on the wife of the president to take the lead and demand legislation to make rape a capital offense. The leadership of National Association of Nigerian Students, NANS, which is to use this opportunity to condemn in its entire entirety rape and any form of violence against women. The painful experience of the past weeks has highlighted several new facts that we wish to raise on these erroneous crimes and what they mean to us as students' leaders. Still in the Southwest, student activists and faculty presidents of the University of Lagos have embarked on a walk against the rampant cases of sexual assault. Their march took them through University Road, Yaba, and back to the university premises, chanting, No is no. According to the UN Children's Fund, one in four boys and one in ten girls under 18 have been victims of sexual violence. And since the COVID-19 pandemic, Nigeria has seen a threefold increase in the number of calls made to domestic and sexual violence hotlines.